Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the settlement of claim in international trade on execution of sales contract of exporter or importer breach the contract. The suffered one would make a request for compensation. The one responsible for the losses of damage takes measure to deal with the claim. One way or another is called settlement of claim. So a letter of settlement claim is a reply to a buyer's claim. Today's learning objective are first we are going to look at the rules to settlement claim. Then we are going to study the useful expression of writing settlements and its basic structure. It includes accepting and rejecting. Now let's look at the rules of settled claim. There are three rules. Number one, if claim is justified, you should accept it at once and express your regrets and promise to put the matters right as soon as possible. Number two, if it is unjustified, you should point out politely it would be long policy to refuse the claim of hand. Number three, if you cannot deal with promptly, you should state your reason in an agreeable manner. Promise to look into the matter the earliest possible and give a satisfactory reply once the position is clear. After we know the rules of settling claims, we have looked at the basic structure and the expression. The basic structure of settlement of a claim. Number one, begin by expressing your regrets and promise to put the matter right. State briefly the reason for the problem. Number three, let the receiver know what action have been taken. Number four, end your letter with assurance and desire for the further development. Now let's explain them in detail. Upon receiving the customer's claim, the seller would make a reply beginning with the confirmation of receipt of claim and showing regrets. Look at the example. Number one, we have received your claim letter of the 13th September on 1000 cases table sets under contract number 123. Number two, with reference to your email of June 20th, claiming for short delivery of 15,000 tons of chemical fertilizer. We wish to express our deepest regret over the incident. Number three, we are so sorry to have learned from your email of June 5th of 40 cameras were damaged. After careful consideration of the, your claim for damage, we wish to reply as follow. Then the seller will state the reason and clarify immediately who the seller or the buyer is responsible for the problem. Look at the example. Number one, on looking to the matter, you found a mistake was indeed made in the packing through a confusion of model number during such an unusual busy season. If the buyer's demand proved reasonable, the seller would express the intention to settle the claim and pay for all the refund as soon as possible. Look at the example. Number one, we will meet your claim for US dollar 500 in view of our friendly business relations. Number two, enclosed is a check for US dollar 394 as a compensation, which will cover the whole loss of you. If possible, the seller may try other compensation alternatively, such as offering discounts or future orders, or allowing the customer to try on new model. Please take a look at the example. Number one, we will replace the inferiority with the perfect one by the first available vessel. If the compensation proved unreasonable, the seller should reject it by explaining the reason and providing evidence instead of a simple rejection. Meanwhile, provide a solution. Look at the example. Number one, we find no ground to compensate for the loss caused by the carrier. We have suggested you file the claim with the carrier as soon as possible. 
Number two, we have closely compared the sample you return with our reference sample, and we cannot find any difference between them. This has been confirmed by our Bureau of Commodity Inspection and the Quarantine that both of the quality are identical. Therefore, the claim cannot be accepted. In the end, the seller should conclude the letter in a friendly way. We trust that the settlement we have made will satisfy you and look forward to your further order. Now, let's come to the sample letter. This one is accepting the claim. Dear Mr. Brown, we have received your claim letter of August 17th on 5,000 men's shirts on the contract now. BW450. It was found, upon examination, that nearly 40% of the packages had been mistaken which belonged to another order, apparently to faulty packing. I assure you that our shipping department has been alerted to the error and is taking action to replace the 2,000 men's shirts immediately. And the additional freight will be on our account. We are sorry for your inconvenience and thanks for your comprehension. Your sincerely. We can see the seller first confirm the receipt of the claim letter. Then the seller states the reason. Faulty packing and clarifies they will be responsible. The seller offers the replacement to 2,000 men's shirts and would bear the additional freight. This one is refusing the claim. Dear Mrs. Wang, we have received your claim letter of May 27th on 1,000 outdated canned beef on the contract new CN 360. After going into the matter, we find that a mistake was indeed made for carelessness. This is the first time in many years that we have had such a problem. And we promise that the problems like that do not happen anymore. But we regret that we cannot accept your claim for $15,000 compensation since the compensation is far beyond the total value of the 1,000 canned beef. We will gladly replace the 1,000 outdated canned beef and we are prepared to allow you a special discount of 5% for the 1,000 canned beef to compensate for your inconvenience. The additional freight will be on our account. We trust you will accept this as being a fair and reasonable solution to this matter. We are looking forward to your acceptance. Yours sincerely. Here we see the seller first confirms the receipt of a claim letter and then states the reason of the problem, carelessness. But the seller refuses the claim made by the buyer for US dollar 15,000 compensation for which it beyond the total value. The seller tries other compensation, alternatively, of a replacement of 1,000 canned beef, and a special discount for 5%. Well, today we have learned the rules of making claims, and the skill to draft a letter of accepting claim, or rejecting a claim. No one would like to see the incidents happen during the execution of contracts. So, during the settlement claim, Either the buyer and the seller should be polite and friendly. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.